State your name and address for the record. So it's 7.30, call to order. Roll call, please. Chairperson Dr. Balo. Here. Vice Chair Ms. Uh, Chaka Crawford. Here. Secretary Matheson. Here. Mr. Potts is not. Excused. He's excused. excused. Um, Mr. Laurent. Here. Um, new person, I'm sorry. Hmm? Oh, he I was forgot here. to tell you. He was here you? last time, yeah. Oh, okay. You were here last time. <laughs> yes, he was here last okay. time. I didn't know if I could remember to introduce her to you or not. Chairperson Bailey, we have a quorum. She, she, she's Thank you. Too. We have no alternates. So, approval of the agenda. Move to approve the agenda. Second. All? Or... We don't have to do a roll, just a voice vote. Voice oh. vote. Voice vote? You don't need to do oh. a roll? No, all you have to say is all, all in all. favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay, approval of the minutes. Move to approve the minutes of uh, special meeting October 28, 2021. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, public comments on non agenda item agendas only. Non agenda items only. Anybody? No? Okay, move forward. Review of the BZA order of procedure and uh, handling of appeals and initial uh, considerations. So, Zoning Board of Appeals procedures for handling the appeals. Um, we'll hear the uh, petition by the planner and the staff, then the presentation of the petitioner, then the receipt of public comments. So please make sure you sign in for that and then state your name and address for the record. Um, then recommendations from the planner, and then the board deliberation and action. So, action tonight is on case A2105, Craig residence at 148, or 146 Bellevue. Presentation from the planner, please. Evening board members, Laura Hall with McKenna. Uh, the applicant's uh, proposal for the requested variance is to um, demolish the existing uh, single-family structure at 146 Bellevue and construct a new um, single-family structure with an attached garage. In order to complete their proposal, they are requesting three variances from the zoning ordinance, um, a front yard setback reduction, and then a, a two side yard reductions, both to the north and the south. Um, our recommendation on packet page 17 um, is to deny the requested variances um, based on several findings of fact. The first is that compliance with the ordinance standards for setbacks is feasible. It's important to note that this is one of the few um, lots within the, the lakefront area that is conforming in regards to the minimum lot size and lot width. It actually exceeds those minimum standards. So it's a conforming lot. Uh, second, the proposed dwelling uh, includes oversized living spaces, which is necessitating the need for these variances. Uh, that includes an oversized, oversized garage. Uh, there is no justification for retaining a non-conforming foundation wall when the entire structure is to be demolished and rebuilt. Uh, approval of the variances is contrary to the intent of the ordinance. Approval of the variances would likely create a large mass of structures on the site that would impact adjacent property owners. The variances requested are not the minimum possible. Um, so there is the possibility of extending the dwelling towards the rear of the building envelope and then reducing the two side yard setbacks. Um, and then lastly, there are no unique circumstances associated with the parcel as it is a conforming lot. Okay. Can you actually read off the variances for me? Oh, certainly. The three variances include um, uh, dimensional variances to section 12.02 um, of the um, village residential zoning district for the front yard. 25 foot is required. 1.2 feet is proposed. 
Um, so that is a 23.8-foot um, variance that's requested. The north side yard setback has a requirement of 10 feet. 3.48 feet are proposed, so that is a 6.52-foot variance. And the south uh, side yard setback is also 10 feet. Minimum 5.22 is proposed. Uh, 4.78 feet is the variance that's requested. Okay, thank you very much. Presentation from the petitioner, whether it's the builder or the owner. Both. Excellent. <laughs> Please hey, state Good your evening. Uh, I'm Matt Craig. Uh, it's uh, my residence with my wife and my, my son who are here. Um, this is our builder with Olax. Uh, Anton Rajansky is my name. Uh, so, yes, as, as you heard, we are presenting the variances that you've currently heard. Um, the, fir the front variance that we're requesting is 1.2 foot variance and is actually to the staircase because the property actually, the, the first floor of the property is elevated above the basement, walkout basement. So in order to access the main floor of the home, it would have to be a staircase there. And we curb the staircase in order to um, limit the danger of anybody coming up off the street. It would be off of the driveway in order to make the staircase work and without cutting into the house, that's what would have to happen with the stairs and keep the driveway. Um, so that would be the front, side, uh, front yard setback. The side, uh, let me open my survey so I can relate to, oh, actually I got a small one right here. So the, uh, the idea is to keep the existing foundation of the current home and add on to it. So if we propose to keep the existing foundation, the south side is already outside of your minimum requirement. So that's what the variance is, is to keep the existing as what the current home is. Uh, yes, we are building a new structure, but the plan was not to demolish the foundation. How far is the current foundation from the... The uh, it's the three, well, which one, hold on, so it's, it's a, the south one. It's a south one. So it's 5.22 feet currently from the overhang. Uh, that's not the foundation, so it'd actually be approximately 6.22 feet to the foundation. Um, that's what it currently is on, on the property, according to the surveyor. Uh, and as far as the north uh, side set, uh, yard setback, we are asking for a 3.48 feet um, versus 10 feet to, in order to build a, a garage in an addition, additional part to the home um, yeah, because they are planning on having, they have a little child currently and they are planning on having their parents move in with them at some point. So <coughs> they don't have much of a driveway currently. Uh, and they actually won't have too much of a driveway after a garage either. Um, yes, the, the width of the property is bigger than 60 feet, but we also have to take in consideration the fact that the depth of the property is smaller than most of the surrounding homes. Uh, so, and they do have a small child, which they will not have any front yard at all for the child to play, plus nobody would like to have him play there because it's right at the road. Uh, in order to extend the house to the back of the property, it would limit already a small backyard currently. Um, so that's, which is, that's the only play area they really do have at all. Okay. <clears throat> the garage size is, the garage is 860 square feet. That's what you're proposing? Uh, the garage size is 860 square feet, correct. Yeah, so the idea is to be able to fit our boat in it as well uh, yes. in the winter. Uh, storage, so it's storage. it's kind of like a, a three-car garage, but instead of being wide, it's deep. So it's basically a two-car garage that's deeper. Okay, so 860 square feet. So t what's the dimensions? Let's do that. Right. Uh, no, what, what are the are dimensions? The dimensions? 800 oh, oh, dimensions <laughs> of the garage. I'm sorry. Uh, the dimensions of the garage is, uh, would be 29 feet wide, but it also includes a part of the laundry in it currently. So there is a little piece that takes out of the laundry. So it would be 29 feet wide, and it would be 32.8 uh, feet. 
Okay, well, 30 by 31 is not 860, right? Well, there's that little cutout for, that uh, for, for the room. laundry. Oh, gotcha, yeah. okay. So it's not a perfect square or All rectangle. Right. Okay, <coughs> and it's just a one story. No living above or anything. Two there will be a, a deck on top of it, and then in the back area there is a structure on top of that. Yeah, so with the laundry, it's 951. No. Hmm. Okay. The main floor, the first floor and the second floor will actually Same set there. back above the garage, which will be above, ab above the garage would be the deck part. What one of the decks, right? We have, yeah, two balconies on the, on the very top. It's, yeah, so it's main those are very one deck. Yeah. Here. And your front yard now is what? Good question. Currently, um, it's, it's right now. It's six feet. I believe it's just under six feet. Six or, point nine five. Yeah. So what you're just saying a, about having no front yard? You're talking about using up four point four feet ten inches of what's there, and you're considering it not usable anyway, right? So right now. Right. Um, Kind of our house has a porch and a and a deck that currently sit out. We're basically just evening that out. I went by it. Yeah. What? I'm sorry. I what? went by. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're evening that out just to make it straight across, um, and then adding the stairs is really the only way that we're going closer to the road. Yeah. The stair. The house is actually not protruding any further than any of the neighbors or what it's currently is. It's actually staying the way it is. It's just the staircase is what we're asking for the variance. Okay, and that's in the front? That's in yes. the front. Yeah. Okay. Because you have a walkout out of the basement, so in order to access to the main floor would be through the staircase. Otherwise, the only other way to make it work would be they would have to access through the basement. Okay. Uh, from the proposed building, how far is the back lot line? The proposed building... I don't think I have really been. Because I can't read what I got. I'm sorry? I can't read what I've got. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. small. <laughs> uh, so we got 25, and then we got what? <clears throat> 25? Uh, looks like it's 41.8. Is that right? If, if I had to, it's about 41 feet, roughly speaking. Oh, I'm sorry. I do have the dimension. 41 8. 41, 8. 41 feet 8 inches. Okay. You're right, sorry. I'm looking at this. <clears throat> so the required distance, what's the distance from the staircase at the front to the street? Uh, to the street, it's about 10 feet. What's it going to be? Or it's going to be about 10 feet if this if this goes through, because it's a 1.2 to the uh, property line, and then there's about nine plus feet to the actual road. The street. Okay. Okay. Then I'm then I'm not understanding this. It says the existing distance is six, and you want to make it 1.2. So that's to the property line. There, there's a good amount of easement between the property line and the actual road. Okay. So that little bitty portion there is one foot right there. Right. Ten feet right. to the wall. Yeah. Right this um, <coughs> six feet. Hmm? Oh, six feet. Okay. It looks a little different, right but now. Right. No, 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 we're over seven. Because yeah. that's probably the speed they're showing. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably correct. Corner. So we would be probably hmm. 14 feet. Then how far are you from the property line from the, the front of the actual structure? So the, the structure is actually at an angle and the road is. So at the smallest distance at, at the corner of the house would be 7 feet 9 inches. And where the staircase currently is, is approximately, I would say, 14 feet, currently. Okay. So, and our staircase will take up about 12 feet. 
Okay. And then you need variances on both sides. So it'd be that rear corner of the house on the one, var side, one yeah. variance is, is due to the design, the mm -hmm. second variance and due to the current foundation. Okay. Ken, if you're using an existing foundation, why are you needing any variance on the south anyway? <clears throat> oh, we were told we had to apply right. for that. Correct. Uh, I think that was... Uh, Isn't an extension off the foundation? There, nothing. There's nothing, we're not moving any closer at all to that side. Uh, so we're, you're just, because it's not in compliance, is that why? It's currently we not have in to compliance. Like ask for a variance to, for even though it's existing. To further, okay. yeah, the use okay. of it. Okay, thank you. Is it due to them, you're completely ripping down the walls and just leaving the foundation? Correct. But if they would have left uh -huh. the wall, they could have, they wouldn't have been in here for a variance, correct, on that one? I believe so. Right, right, right. Like okay. you say, grandfather. Yeah, yeah correct. They would have been yeah. a grandfather. Okay. Yeah. okay. Good to know. Okay. Gentlemen, any more questions? No, Henry? Bradley? Would the, um, would the existing foundation be able to support the new structure or? We're, we're gonna inspect it at that point. We decided not to keep going further into a design stage until we know if the variances are gonna work. So there's no reason for us to finish the drawings until we know what we're really doing. So, and we do believe that it is, yes. So what if it's not? Then you gonna come back here for another variant? Well, we yeah. would just replace it with a <laughs> yeah. with the foundation on exactly the same spot for the same variance as just the one that could support the structure. Mm -hmm. So the variances wouldn't change. Okay. And no more questions. I have no more. Bradley. No. Mary. Um. No. 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 That's a good. One. Okay. Anything else, gentlemen? No. Be it. No. no. Thank you for. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for listening. Okay. Receipt of any public comment. And Sue, I know you have a two to read in the record. Yes, I do. Okay. Any receipt of public comment? No public here? Okay. Thank you. Sue, okay. go ahead. We have, three, we have three letters. To whom it may concern, my name is Stephanie Daigle. I have lived in Lake Orion my entire life, and I have lived at 138 Bellevue Avenue for 42 years, next door to the at issue 146 Bellevue Avenue property. I am a longtime resident of Lake Orion community, which I value. Access to the lake is great, but my view is just as important to me, especially as a senior citizen. Allowing these variances would create a variety of negative issues for my home and me. My house sits on the south property line with no side yard at all. Um, on Article 1, this variance would prevent all my views to the lake, road, and sunrise, blocking everything except the house at 146 Bellevue. Um, regarding Article 2, if this variance is granted, the next door neighbor's house will be 3.48 feet from the side of my home. This would eliminate all sunshine, making my house dark all day. No sunshine, no lake, light, no lake view, no breeze, just brick. If this variance is granted, my home would be 3.48 feet from the house at 146 Bellevue Avenue. Rain absorption to my 70-year-old basement would be in peril. If this variance is granted, my view of the lake would be blocked and therefore my property would be permanently devalued. Thank you for allowing me to share my serious concerns with the board. Stephanie Daigle. This one is from Michael Phillips. 
I am writing to you today in response to the hearing scheduled for Thursday, December 16, 2021, regarding a request for variance on parcel 0911101027. Uh, commonly known as 146 Bellevue Avenue. Matthew and Aaron Craig have been good neighbors and I am excited for them to them as their family expands. They really have chosen a fantastic community in which to raise a family. Unfortunately, I must object to their request for variances for this building project. When my wife and I purchased our home almost 10 years ago, we didn't have money to purchase lakefront property and get the amount of house that we anticipated we would need. We chose to purchase our home for several reasons. Chief among those reasons are that our home is in a neighborhood that I grew up in and still have family in. And while our, host is land, our home is landlocked, it still has great views of the lake. If these variances are granted, the proposed new house will greatly reduce our views and enjoyment of the lake, as well as potentially decrease the value of our property. While I hate to make an objection to an improvement of neighboring properties, I must look after my family and the investment we have made. I wish the Craigs the best and pray that they can find a way to make their existing home work for them. Sincerely, Michael and Megan Phillips. And I have one more. This is an email from, um, oh, this is the wrong email. Hang on. It was from Mr. Sakala and <coughs> I'll have to go back and get it. I, have, I don't have it here. I will go back and get it though. Okay. If you want to recess or you want to keep going and then I can read it when I get back, whichever you prefer. Can we actually hear the recommendation of the planner while you're gone or do we have to wait? I don't know why I grabbed the wrong one. Okay. No, we'll, hold, we'll, we'll pause for a wait, second. Wait a minute. Yeah, we'll pause. Well, the one I gave you guys is the wrong one. Yeah, I saw that. The very last one. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Go you, ahead. You go ahead and you can continue and then re, 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 reconvene the hearing as soon as I get back. Okay. Butter break, anybody? Um, yeah, because the next portion is the, the priest or the planner again right. for recommendation. So, <clears throat> I'm in our deliberation. There's a question. Hmm? There's a question. May we add to one of the statements that was just read? It was it was the first letter that was read. It was actually said that they were on the south side, which is inaccurate because the south side neighbor is actually right here. Oh, okay. It would have been a north side uh, neighbor and also the north side neighbor. Their current home is on the property line. Okay. So that's why it becomes a lot closer. For us, it doesn't matter. We're discussing your house and. Right. Like we, yeah. So the uh, one other thing, like we designed the house so we wouldn't block our views. That's why we have the expansive deck over there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna either have wire, uh, uh, what do you call it, railings, or at least below or glass. Mm -hmm. We're not sure which one yet, but they should actually give her a better view because currently we have pretty thick white uh, wood that's currently around our current deck. So I think it'll actually help having so she could see through. Then what uh, is currently there. Okay. Excuse myself for something. No problem. I'm actually going to grab the water. Would you like water? Thank you. 
Jesus. One moment. Henry All right, will be my sincere back. apologies. Oh, no problem. Yeah, this email says, greetings, Susan. Please accept Look, the email. Ms. Susan, our... we have to wait for Mr. Henry to get back. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see Thank that he you. was there. And I used to see him. Please accept this email as our response to the above variance request and please forward the letter to the Board of Zoning Appeals accordingly. Regarding the zoning variance noted above, um, he has zoning appeal A-21-05. Um, we fully support our neighbor's reconstruction effect with only exception being the front yard setback. We have no comment on the side yard setback request and defer uh, that issue, if any, to the immediate next door neighbors. At the existing 146 Bellevue structure does not currently meet today's zoning 25 foot front back front setback requirement, we would hope that the new reconstruction would not exceed the current structure grandfathered front setback position. Thank you. Sincerely, Tom and Mary Sakala, 164 Bellevue. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Any more uh, public comments? No? Okay. Thank you. Recommendation of the planner. Thank you. The recommendation is on packet page 17, and that is uh, that the zoning, uh, Board of Zoning Appeals deny the three requested variances um, based on nine findings of fact. <coughs> that includes that Compliance with the minimum or ordinance standards for setbacks is feasible um, within that building envelope. That the proposed dwelling includes oversized living spaces, including an oversized garage. That there is not justification for retaining a non conforming foundation when the entire structure will be uh, demolished and uh, rebuilt. The site is one of the few parcels along the lake that meets the minimum lot size and width requirements. Approval of the variances is contrary to the intent of the ordinance and sound planning principles. Approval of the variances will likely create a large mass of structure on the site, which will impact abutting properties. The variances requested are not the minimum possible, and there are no unique circumstances associated with this parcel. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. I think there's one more. Two more. The drainage issues referred to by the applicant have building and engineering solutions that do not require a variance and that it is self-created the need for the larger uh, dwelling unit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Mayor. <coughs> okay, board deliberation. All right. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Yeah, I'm in favor of um Agreeing with the planner and denying oh. all three. I am too. I'd, I'd be. I just think it's too big and the garage is. Yeah, that is. Um, I can kind of understand the not wanting to move the foundation and that, mm -hmm. that portion of the variance would possibly pass. Mm -hmm. But I agree with you on the other side and, mm -hmm. and even the front. It's, yeah. It's a bit much. Yeah, yeah. it's excessive. It's huge. I would agree, and especially with the, having 41 feet in the back where they could actually lengthen the house a little bit and actually meet the variances. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. The, the current law on books. Mm -hmm. I would agree with the planner. Yeah. Mr. Bradley, what do you have to say? I would agree. My big issue is with the less than five feet 
distance between the one neighbor. Um, typically, we've um, even though it's a side yard setback, typically we have granted variances for five foot, but nothing less than at least in recent memory. I don't think we've done anything less than five foot um, for safety. Correct. For um, safety. Yeah, fire safety. Fire safety. Fire safety. Fire safety and drain. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Fire safety. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that would be my big concern. Okay. Otherwise, I would. I overall, I agree with the. Um, I think I would agree with the plan's recommendation. Mm. Okay. Motion, anyone? Because it sounds like we all agree on this one. Mm -hmm. So. Can I make a motion just by saying what I just said about you agreeing with the plan, or do I have to read it? Yeah, you have to read it. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. So, I'm gonna read the variances here. Uh, or should I just no, go ahead and the read the proposed this. motion page? I didn't see it. That's page 11. Page 11? Page 11. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Oh, I went by it. <clears throat> okay, case number A 21 05, parcel ID number 09 11 101 027, more commonly known as 146 Bellevue, located in the RV Residential Village One Family Dwelling District. That the following variance be denied to a new dwelling with an attached garage utilizing a portion of the existing dwelling's foundation. Um, number one, Article 12, Schedule of Regulations, Section 12 02 Table, RV Zoning, Zoning District, Front Yard Setback of 23.80 foot variance requested. I, um, make a motion that we deny that. Am I going to read them all or are we going to vote on each one? Uh, I have to make the whole motion? Yeah, the whole motion. Do the whole motion. Okay. Correct. Is there any amount that you would accept? Because like, we're not, if we can change something a bit maybe with the drawings, because we still have, we haven't finished the drawings yet. That's why we're here. Uh, whether we can move it back, I don't uh, yes, more speaking to him. Wait, yeah. well, yeah. Normally, normally you would talk to the planner long before you get to us, and normally it's already worked out like 90% of the time. Oh, uh, so, the planner was the, our, the uh, person we were emailing with didn't quite understand a lot of the stuff that we were sending him. He thought we needed to uh, sign finished construction documents at first, so we have that issue going back and forth because. Mm -hmm. I think I submitted this originally at the beginning of October, mm -hmm. and now, like, I think I came in last month to just to see one meeting, mm -hmm. and so we've had a lot of back and forth issues going. Mm -hmm. And also, if I can add to this, is all of the side dimensions are from a overhang. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't get a motion, so. Yeah, we're, we're in the in middle of motion. motion. Yeah. Yeah. Can we do that? Excuse me. Point of order that if you're speaking, you have to come up to the microphones because this is being televised. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Just, thank you. Pardon me? I'm sorry. I thought you were, were you talking to me. No. Oh, I apologize. Do you know we have that thing where we can come back and we don't vote it all? But if we deny it, we're going to have to wait a certain amount of time. Correct? Yeah, it's two years, but they'd have to update the plans anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. If okay. you deny it today, they got to update the plans. Even if they come back, they still have to update the plans. Because remember when we were trying to deny it, we just said, you know, we're Yeah, we have done that. And then they didn't have to wait so Okay. But I, didn't, didn't we do that once, Brian? Yes, we have done that. Yeah. Where, we told, where we asked the petitioner, do they want to move forward with our motion? Because they already knew what we did. Okay. I'm not sure of the point of order there. Yes. Susan. The point of order would be if there's no discussion afterwards and we don't vote, it drops. Isn't there. I think we did this once before. I'm having a hard time here. It's oh, very hard to I apologize. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead. Didn't we do something once before where. The petitioner could withdraw 
their request for variances tonight and then resubmit in a different manner in the hopes of that being approved and then they wouldn't have to wait a certain amount of time? Is that not right? She's asking because this is definitely getting denied. And there's no two ways about that. The, the, the question on that is if they are making, we might actually agree with some of these so, variances so are, so are in a lesser. Are you asking to allow them to make changes and then Recent bring it minute. back? Yes, ma'am. Postpone it. Is that what you're looking to do? The petitioner can always ask to postpone the item. That's what I was asking. But they have to request it until Correct. a future date. Because then they don't have to wait. Yeah, that has to, and then you have to make a motion to allow that. Yeah, I think we would. Uh, so you have to I, ask I to be postpone it. Yeah, I, I guess I just ask to postpone it, and then we can meet with the planner and finally go over this a bit more. OK. Do, now you can make a motion to postpone. Now you can make a motion to postpone. Do we want to have discussion about that first? Or? She never got through motion. No, I don't need discussion on it either. So for what I'm going to propose. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you can just read so hard for me. Yeah. Okay, I thought I did. Okay. You mean just for this next one? Yeah, yeah, yeah correct. Well, you already re read yeah, the first portion already. and you're about ready to make the motion anyways. Yeah. So you can just go ahead with what you're proposing. So am I now going to make a motion that... No, oh, because you, made, you, mentioned, yeah. you mentioned a motion to deny. Without a second, there's no motion yet. I love these. You, you did not have a second on the motion to deny? No, no she no. did not. So that no, yeah. motion at that point fails. Okay. So that, yeah. that motion is off the table. All right. Okay. And now if you want to make a motion to postpone to allow the applicant to go back and make some changes. Um, and we now, you could postpone until such time that the applicant brings in the new plans and they do a new review. Okay. <laughs> what she said. So I, I would make a motion that this be postponed until a later time at which you can resubmit plans that may possibly be approved. After you please meet with the yes. their, uh, coordinator over there. Thank you maybe very more in, in, in support. In a court. In a you court. need a support and you need support. To vote. Thank you. And then you also need to vote on it. All in favor. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much, no Susan. Problem. Thank you. It makes life easier because otherwise it'd take them a whole year. Yeah, to you go have back to wait longer. Yep. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's good. Okay. Thank you. And that closes case. That was case number one. Case A twenty one zero five. That that closes that for today, and uh, hopefully we'll see them at a later date after they've met with the planner and got an agreement. Okay. Thank you very much. Can I, can I really just ask one question, just so we know how you proceed with this, Billy? So the north side, I understand that we can change the design. We can adjust it in order to. Uh, you know, allow the space and possibly meet the variance or the setback. How can we change the design of the home that has an existing foundation? What up? We can discuss after. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. That would be something, that would be an excellent question for the planner. Yes. No, we can't We're not discuss it. Anything. No. Correct. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Next. Okay, next on the agenda is adopt a re resolution for establishing the 2022 Board of Zoning Appeals meeting schedule. Mm -hmm. So, what are we going to do? <laughs> the basic gist of it is, is in the past we've been scheduling meetings for twice a month to allow more flexibility for the applicants because of the length of re the requirement of the noticing for zoning board cases. If we don't have a case, we won't have a meeting. So some months you might have one meeting, some months you might have two meetings, and some months you may have no meetings. Um, or you can just schedule one a meeting a month, whether, whichever you prefer. And no chance of Zoom. No, that's, that's, that's still not, the state that's of Michigan. That's not a thing by the legislature anymore. Still state of Michigan. Once, uh, yeah. Once December 31st comes, it's done. Now you can participate in Zoom if you're ill, but that's, you know, if you're in military service. I didn't know that. 
Huh. But we hmm. don't have, right now we don't have the capabilities to even do that here. I mean, I like the idea of twice a month because it helps petitioners. Correct. Yeah. But yes. um, if there's not going to be a quorum, I mean, there was a lot of times there wasn't quorums, was there? Mm -hmm. So then it got tabled anyway, or? We do what we can. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, the legislature doesn't look like they're going to extend that. So it and it ends December 31st, so. I, I think we're better off getting it into the schedule and then seeing what happens as opposed to all of a sudden we got a surprise meeting. So you're saying do the twice a month? Well, it, so you can at least do some kind of planning personally, mm -hmm. and I don't know what this ties into your other meetings or not. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know for myself, I already put these in for two meetings a month, just so I know where we're going. Mm -hmm. I've found, and I've said this to other new members, being on the board the longest so far, <laughs> um, going on about 12, 13 years, um, the two meetings seem to, the two meeting schedule seems to work out great. If we don't have any meetings, that month, fine. That doesn't we have, matter, yeah. Yeah. All right. I agree. We usually yeah. have at least one meeting. If we do have a meeting in a particular month, we usually have enough to cover um, a quorum. And uh, it also makes it easier with the applicants and staff to hit that deadline. Um, if they miss the first, the, if they miss the first meeting deadline, then they're it's still just that month. Yeah. Yeah. Then they're they can still get in that month. Just it's a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. It helps. It helps. If we have no meetings, um, hey guys, no meeting, no um, do the light. Okay. Light. I don't want like people to wait. Been, you see I'm, a really long time. I've plugged in for twice a year, um, two meetings a month. Um, I know mm -hmm. that uh, the planning commission tried that, mm -hmm. but they mm -hmm. they went back to one. But we've we've for the last few years have gone since the. The two meetings a month have been introduced. We've been hanging with two meeting option, and it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Then I would like to make a motion for calendar year 2022 that we have two meetings a month. Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That has passed. Okay. Next regularly scheduled BZA meeting is January 6, 2022, the new year. Yes, so, and we do have a case on that meeting already, so we will have that meeting. Okay, excellent. So I guess this is a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a good holiday, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you very Merry much. much. Yeah. Meeting adjourned. Which, which meeting is the first, first meeting in January? January.